Alrighty, guys. I thought it might be fun every once in a while to just sit and uh, talk some different things of anime. Because, again, I, don't get me wrong by any... I am no anime expert by any stretch. These are not Soikage videos. You know, Soikage is an anime genius. I'm still just learning. I'm just <laughs> not even a journeyman yet. But I'm fascinated with it. I like... And for me, uh, these videos are just things I like to talk about as far as my own impressions of things that have gone on, my own favorites, dislikes, dislikes, so on and so forth, just to get feedback from you guys to see, you know, how, how many of you feel similarly, how many of you feel differently, to get different takes on it. I, I think it's just fun. I just like talking about anime, basically. And now what's occurred to me here recently, you guys know that my favorite, my waifu, has been for some time Sarah's Victoria, since I started watching the uh, Helsing Abridged. I love her voice. I love oh I love those I love those boobies I love the bitches love cannon things so fuck off train she it's it's been clear cut now recently that divide you know Sarah's here everybody else down here has gotten a lot closer come on train we're talking about anime titties here you have some fucking respect uh, that's gotten a lot closer because of me watching High School DXD Rhea Scrummery is. Oh, oh I, I don't have the words. Rhea Scrummery is, uh, that, that basically describes it. Not only is she obviously stupid hot, but now watching the series, I really, really, really like her character. She's a badass. She's very chill in her badassery. I just, and, and I really, really enjoy the freedom with her body. You know, the whole just showing up in Issei's bed. It's like, oh, I wanted a snuggle pillow all naked and oh, snuggle pillow me. And the last episode I just watched over at the Goosh of, um, as I make this, the most recent episode I watched was basically some of the greatest softcore porn <laughs> I've ever watched. So I'm not quite ready to push Rius over Saris, but it's getting really close. So that that's one of the questions for today. Who is your anime waifu? Now, the next thing is... You, uh, again, you guys have known that Kabuto is my most hated character in anime and has been for some time just because uh, uh, of his smarmy, obnoxious personality. But a couple things have happened there. One is, I, I, I'm i assuming K uh, Kabuto gets out of the Itsunami at some point. Now, if he gets out of the Itsunami and the way Itachi described it, could it be that, you know, his... his character's personality may regress back to what he was when he was younger when he wasn't an obnoxious douchebag and was actually a cute kid and somebody who wanted you know to do right by the people from the orphanage and everything so that could really drop him down from the list of the hated and again having watched high school dxd it's just fun getting into more in different anime now what about uh, um lord dickweed I can't stand that fucking guy in high school DXDs. That that's um, Riser Phoenix, Lord Riser. Now the thing that he talks about himself. In case you guys haven't watched DXD, I think most of you have. When he talks about himself in the third person, I just want to smash him in his stupid, stupid, smug little face. Holy crap, he's an annoying asshole. And as near as I can tell, there's no redeeming backstory coming here. He's just a dick. Now, the other the side to that, though, is Issei just beat the shit out of him at the end of the first season. So I don't know how big a role Riser is going to play going forward. So he may not, he may not be able... Because I was thinking he might be able to overtake Kabuto for me as most hated, but now I'm not so sure because I don't know how much more of Lord Riser we're going to see, or Lord Dickweed we're going to see. So, but... I got to start thinking along those lines. Suppose Kabuto comes out of the Itsunami and he's like, oh, hey guys, you know, hey, let me, let me hook you up. Let me, let me help you out. I got some badass medical skills. Let me, you know, he becomes a regular guy, he loses the shit voice and attitude and everything. I got to come up with a new most hated. Now, in My Hero Academia, I'm freaking loving My Hero Academia. Great storytelling, great characters. I. Flaming Dad. Um, Todoroki's dad, Icy Hot's dad there, he could move up there quick. Again, at, at first, the first few times you see him, I just dislike him because of what, you know, he, he just manuf basically manufactured a kid to try and bring somebody who would bring down All Might, and he's just, he's just, he's a dick. But now that I've seen more of the backstory, 
and he bitch slapped Todoroki's mom and the way he treated Todoroki as a kid, you guys know that that's that's my bugaboo when, when kids are treated in that manner. He's he's moving up the ladder fast. So we could easily see Kabuto drop down and flaming dad dickbag there. I always I forget his name. <laughs> Not a surprise. He he could take over that spot, but I want to know again from you guys who, who's a character that you just hate in any anime? Because not a, you know a, along with the ones I'm watching now, you know, I, my my base of knowledge is Dragon Ball, um, Naruto, obviously, One Punch Man, and now I'm getting to know My Hero Academia and High School DxD. We, we've got Hunter Hunter coming up. Eventually, I'm going to be doing One Piece, and I know a little bit about those characters now. We've got tons of shit we're going to be watching. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood um, right here on the channel. So there's tons more characters to go. So anything you want to talk about, and, and again, people don't get nervous about spoilers and stuff. First of all, you know my memory. But second of all, I just like talking about characters. If there's character names coming up that you guys think, oh, you're going to love this one or you're going to hate this one, it just gets me more jazzed up for it. But who are some of the ones you really hate or have become your absolute waifus. Could be some shifting going on here in the dynamics of my waifu and most hated, and that hasn't happened in a while. Kabuto's held that space solidly, as has Saris. Could be some mixing up. It's kind of frightening how jazzed up that gets me. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think.